winners. Look at that. Don't go anywhere. Oh, look Another at this. Another award winner. Two? Yes, one's European. Wow. Look at these beautiful colors. This is coneflower. Oh, that's you so would never pretty. think coneflower comes in no. all these shades. Always just that kind of muddy pink. Wow. But this is, that's why it's won so many awards, rightfully so. It, we call it color changing because we put all these seeds into one pot. Oh. So it's going to look like your garden is constantly changing It's going to be a surprise every yes. time. By the way, we started out the season with 10,000 of these. We now mm. have, are you ready for this? The last 1,800 to go around Don't for the rest out. of 2015. These are so, so, so special. Those of you who are up with us right now, this could be the final presentation mm -hmm. on getting the colorful this. Cheyenne Spirit Echinacea. So, okay, what do we need to know about them when we're growing and why they well, were chosen okay. by Roberta's? First of all, it's it's Cheyenne Spirit. That should tell you something. The Cheyenne Indians from the plains. Yes. That's where this plant is native to, mm -hmm. okay? It is tough as nails like the Cheyennes, mm -hmm. but it's colorful like their headdresses, right? Yeah, absolutely. And what happened is this plant was taken over to Europe for um, for a European contest. Of course. Flower Awards. And it's very rare that an American native plant wins a Floral Select Award in Europe. Wow. But it did. It won hands down uh, 2012. Then it came back to the U.S. and the U.S. guys said, well, hey. Hey, wait a know, second. We, maybe we better take a look at this thing. <laughs> so the next year in the um, All-American Select Awards, it won the American Award too. Wow. And the reason is, it is got a great color. Um, it's got a great habit. A lot of echinaceas and coneflowers, they get tall and the whole plant just falls over. Falls over, over. almost yeah. like peonies. They just kind of flop. And it's like, and what happened? It. Yeah. But they bloom forever, but this one stays compact. It blooms for an easy four months out of the year and all these colors are in the same pot. Beautiful. We mix the seeds in, so you oh, get all this. I love that. See, mm -hmm. I love that it's already mixed that way. Yes. Then it, it, it looks as if you're the professional that's already taking care of it. And Roberta's, they've already done the work for you. New this season, we're counting down what we have left for the rest of this growing season and then that's it for those of you who want to get it um, $34.72 it's M46408 how much sun do they like they love the sun okay. put them out in the full these are tough as nails they can take the heat you get all these colors in it again there's the second award yes. that it won the all-american selections the first one that got it off that's kicked it off in Europe the floral select but it's because of the colors, Jackie, not that muddy pink. I mean, no. the, the pink ones are pretty when they first open up, but then they turn that muddy color, They right? can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you just the traditional kind of off-white that you would get, and it's like, eh, yeah, here or, you're or, getting or, vibrant. I mean, these look like Starburst colors. They, there are so many different colors, reds wow. and oranges and yellows and whites and purples and creams. But what I'm used to is the black eyed Susan. Oh yeah. You know, yellow or now that pink, I love that. That's like that's, fuchsia. Yeah, that's beautiful. Hot. Um, and then mix with these other colors, it makes everything pop. Now we have them in pots, obviously, yeah. that we're showing them out here. Can so I show you the little seedlings yes, that you're going to get? Where would you suggest the little, the little babies? Them. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this how they're going to come to us? They're going to come to you just like this. Are you yes. kidding me? Uh huh. Look, look at this. This one's just getting ready to open up, Jackie. Stick all the flower buds. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at look, that. See all these little flower buds? One. There's one here, another there's one, one there's another one down here. But look at the habit. They're branching and they're compact. They are ready okay? to go. And then you're gonna get six. Look at that. Ready are you to kidding go. me? Six? Okay, so six. That's what I'm holding. You're holding all six. Yes. This is okay, and I have to say, very impressive how you all box these so that they are mm -hmm. protected when they arrive. So where do okay, can but we this, do them in pots or I'm, should we just go ahead and line everything here. out? You can do them in containers, but you don't have to, because these take winters down to negative 30 degrees. Oh, okay. That's great. So all the way up to and then all the way down to Florida too. They can take the heat. So anywhere put these out in the garden. Okay. If you don't have a garden spa, you don't want to dig them out, put them in containers. Um, this look that you're looking at right now, you can have the first season easily right. with these six plants. We started this season with over 10,000. We're down to the last 1,400 left for this growing season of 2015. For those of you who want to get them, this is your time. So you're getting all six pieces, 3472 with the growing guide, and of course the growing guarantee. They are beautiful perennial. Deer it's resistant, color drought color. Thank tolerant. You. Those deer. Um, they're disease resistant. Sometimes on the on your purple cone flowers, oh, you yeah. get that mildew, powdery mildew in there, and then boom, your plant's done. This is resistant to that. That's why it deserved the awards that it's won. It really did. Uh, and we we brought this here 
in a small quantity a couple years ago. It flew out, and we we're lucky enough to get it back again this year. These are and gorgeous. And we don't have a lot, like you said. Oh, my gosh, these are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is what you want. This is what you want in, in color and mm -hmm. to have something that is native when you think about, about yeah. our country and to be able to have and the have Native it, American. Now, native you American. know, at my house, I had the other cone flowers, the purples. I'm replacing them with these. Yes. And what did I put in the front? Something that you just showed, the sedums. Yes. I put those sedums right in the front because both of those can take the heat. I don't ever have to drag a hose out and water my echinaceas or my stone crops. They grow great companion plants together. Wow. This is this is what's really magical about having um, the colorful, the Cheyenne Spirit Echinacea. New this season, as we are dwindling down what we have left for this growing season, they have been very, Big very flowers. popular. Yeah, they're and large look at this. flowers. So, okay, how far apart should we plant them while we're talking about spread? You're going about two foot tall, two foot wide okay. per plant. Okay. But you can put them in a little bit closer if you want to do a border. So you're oh. looking at, you're talking about a 10 to 12 foot border with one collection. Okay. Okay. So if you want to do two sides, maybe you get two sets. You can't go wrong on these. I'm telling you, I'm yanking all my other cone flowers out and I'm slowly replacing them with these. And then the seed heads. See these, the tops of these flowers? Yes. These, the tops of them turn to seeds. And if you love your birds, because I know we've been talking, right? Yes. The birds, these turn into seeds and you get your finches. Your yellow finch, gold finches, the and, the, finches. and the red finches. All I get those seeds. in Indiana, and you keep them there. You don't have to cut these down in the winter because they just feed the birds. <gasps> Fabulous. And then in the spring, you can cut them back, and then you get all new ones. I love it. And mm -hmm. those of you who want to get them, this is it. Final yeah. quantity to, to be able to pick up for the season, new this season. Cheyenne Spirit. Make those great cut flowers. Oh. Go out there with your clippers when you have company come over. Fill up a vase. It costs you nothing. And the more